Congratulations again. Um, I, have, I, have a, I want to ask you a few questions on the whole tournament for yourself, okay? Now, the first fight, what, did you, what was your idea, what was your plan, and what did you feel he was doing, or was everything going to plan? Sure, the first fight, I'm sure most of you guys can tell, you know, I had little jitters. The first fight I think is kind of the hardest because, uh, you know, you, you have to do all the warm-up, all the prep, and, uh, you know, you want to get in the groove of things, and I didn't feel too in the groove. Um, yeah, mm. as you can tell. So, and then he was a very aggressive fighter, yeah. you know, not a strong kickboxer, but a, a strong fighter. What did you feel about his fight with him? What did you feel about that? Yeah, actually, by all means, because, just because I said I didn't feel I was in the groove, it doesn't mean I'm taking anything away from Jamil. Jamil, yeah, very strong fighter, exactly what you said. Um, I think his rhythm is different from the natural kickboxer or Muay Thai fighter. So, you know, he fights with a little MMA, he's, he's, he's down a brawl, he gets in there. He's tough, he's made of steel. Mm. Yeah, um, as, yeah, yeah, as a lot of uh, MMA fighters are. You I respect him. You know? um, he's a tough guy. Okay, second fight. What would you feel about that fight? So the second fight, um, you know, I'm not. A, I'm by all means. It's like my second tournament, third tournament. So I'm no veteran at the tournaments. But um, you know, I was a little banged up. Um, I felt it a little bit, but uh, you know, I, I let it go a little better. Um, I felt a little smoother. I was in control of my range. Uh, you know, I respected Mushin. You know, I knew he had power. Um, you know, he, he's uh, you know established boxer, and uh, you know he trains. He he understands Muay Thai. Um, actually, and you know, for a little bit, I kind of use that uh, slightly to my advantage because I can time it a bit, um, use distance and good footwork with him. Because he's a slow starter, and this is out of his norm. Because Muay Thai, as you know as well, it's a slow start. It's a slow start fight, but you. Played it very well until the very end. Now, did you plan the kick or did it just happen? Because I, when I did that once before, it just happened both to me and to someone else. Or did you plan that combination? No, no, no I didn't. I didn't plan it, but uh, I work on it daily. Um, you know, th through training. So, you know, it was a natural technique that uh, you know came out of me. Um, but um, like you said, in the beginning, I kind of popped off early because, uh, you know, second round of the tournament, you know, he, he can be like, oh, I'm a little banged up too, so I want to pace it. And uh, even though I was banged up, I knew it's better to come off out the gates. Now, the last fight against a young kid, taller kid, Troy Sheraton. Now, I looked at him as a um, young fighter. His record doesn't show his skill set. So I, but I saw, in my opinion, I feel you control every round. Did you ever feel you was in any danger at any point in that fight? Um, so, Troy, you know, and it, to me, honestly, throughout looking at the whole bracket, I, you know, even though his record didn't show, like exactly what you said, didn't show his skill set, I respect him as one of the top two, if not, you know, top two and three fighters, um, along with myself in there. Um, I, I respected him, and um, as far as feeling in danger, um, you know, there, even though there was a time he was pecking at me, I felt like I saw everything, and uh, that was kind of my game plan. I never wanted to get blindsided. You know, I wanted to be visual. I wanted to be everything visual, try to absorb everything that I saw. And uh, from there, you know, I was able to uh, assess. You know, I got caught one round with like a with a hook, and then I freaking glued that thing to my head, and uh, you know, actually goaded him into throwing the same one. And uh, I did it again, and this time I was able to counter it uh, thanks to my John. Yeah. Yeah, what I saw a lot of was just a lot of knees, especially in the first round. You came out there with like a man, I said possessed, but others say focused. And you threw a lot of knees with a lot of anger. No, maybe not anger, maybe just a lot of intensity to, to hurt him, just, especially by the end of the round. Was that your plan to throw more knees, staying close with him? Because he's tall, so was your plan to stay close and just knee a lot? Or was your plan just to stay outside and play with him? Um, a little bit because, um, you know, Troy's taller, so why would I want to, uh, you know, stay at that range? At the same time, usually the knees go to the taller advantage, I mean, advantage to the taller opponent. But the thing is, Troy covers up really high, and I, I took advantage of that a little bit um, by, you know, going to the body because, uh, you know, if you're up here, there's got to be somewhere open. Yeah. Well, I have to say I was quite impressed with your maturity as a fighter. You know, now I'm a, now I'm a commentator right now, and I'm, I'm getting pretty good at this too. I looked at it, <laughs> but you know, I looked at your style, and I said, in each each round per fight, you in, you showed more 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 ang not anger, more drive. Was that kind of the plan as well, or you just it just felt right? 
You're right. It just felt right. It started coming out of me. It started flowing a lot better. You know, um, you know, uh, John gave me the verbal slap in the face, making sure that I, uh, you know, wake up. He doesn't want me to be a slow starter, you know, lethargic in there. And, uh, you know, I did as he told me to, and uh, it started to flow. And, yeah, I felt as the rounds got stronger, uh, as the rounds got deeper, I got stronger. Now, now you're on the road to glory now. This means you're going to fight the, some of the higher-end fighters around the world. Um, Personally, I feel you're ready. But the difference is you're going to go with the stigma as an American fighter. Mm -hmm. Now, you're carrying the load that some of us carried before you. So a lot's right on your shoulders. So now you can be with the big boys are now. I think you're, quali you're, you're definitely ready for it. Um, just keep doing what you're doing. And I'm very, very, very proud of knowing you over the years and seeing you grow as a fighter. And I'm very happy for you tonight. I mean, you did a great job your, every fight. And then your knockout over Muslim was beautiful. It was a, you look at it, you look at it and go, yeah, he's right. It was beautiful. But I think, you, you know, I've watched you grow as a fighter, and I'm very happy to have known you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. You, you bet.